The Russian army is likely shelling Ukrainian positions in Donetsk with a 122mm D-74 gun, which was developed in the Soviet Union in the late 1940s, according to Business Insider. As the media outlet reports, what is interesting about this weapon is not its year of manufacture, but the fact that it comes from Soviet stockpiles. The D-74 was not supposed to be the arsenal of Russia, as the Soviet Union began exporting these guns to friendly countries like Vietnam and China after their production. It was previously thought that the USSR had given away all its stockpiled weapons at that time. Therefore, the use of D-74 by Russian forces on the front lines in Ukraine may indicate possible imports of these systems or at least ammunition for them from North Korea. The agency suggests that Russia may be attempting to demonstrate the availability of huge resources. Additionally, the use of Soviet-era equipment may indicate that despite a quicker-than-expected restructuring of the armed forces, new production in Russia is still lagging behind battlefield losses. The appearance of the D-74 at the front is far from a common occurrence. During the Soviet era, a small number of these guns were produced, mostly for the needs of allied countries, including locally under license. Between the 1960s and 1970s, almost all D-74s were removed from Soviet arsenals and transferred to the Middle East and Asia. In Europe, these guns were used to a limited extent by Warsaw Pact countries, including Hungary, Poland, Bulgaria and the former German Democratic Republic, but were decommissioned, according to Militani media outlet. In addition, D-74s were and still are actively used by the armies of the North Korea, Vietnam, China and Algeria. According to open sources, they are in the arsenals of Zimbabwe, Mauritania, Nigeria and Sudan and were in service in Iraq, Egypt and a number of other countries. These guns were most actively produced by the Chinese industry under the Type 60 index and the DPRK produces ammunition from them and even has two D-74-based self-propelled artillery systems, M1981 and M1991. Given these facts, it can be assumed that the Russians had literally a handful of D-74s left and decided to put them into service or they were transferred from the arsenals of their Russian partners. One woman was killed and at least 16 people injured in a Russian overnight strike in the southern Mykolaiv region of Ukraine. Regional authorities on Tuesday said civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged in the strike, which caused fires to break out. The attack also damaged vehicles, a restaurant complex and a shopping pavilion. The attack took place around 2.30 am and was carried out with S-300 ballistic missiles, authorities added. The Air Force of Ukraine reported that Russia launched seven S-300 missiles at Mykolaiv and two KH-59 guided aerial missiles at northern regions of Ukraine.